speaking, the power saith, What hast thou to do to declare my statutes, or that thou shouldest take my covenant in thy mouth? Seeing thou hatest instruction, and cast it, castest my words behind thee. He saw the deaf adder. He don't want to hear it, man. He hates instruction. You know, you tell Esau to do this. Esau try and kill you, man. Mm He's -hmm. like, man, this guy always trying to tell me what to do. I need to just get rid of him. Yep. And that's why Esau going to come down with that great wrath as well, because we're constantly out here improving, <laughs> yeah, he telling his ass off, and he's just going to get tired of it. Yeah, he is. Because he sees that it's actually having an effect. Yeah. You know, he sees Israel uh, uh, actually waking up and considering. Even though the majority is, are, are bugged out. You know, the majority of these uh, Israelites, these, these woke Israelites are bug outs, but they're still they're still saying that they're, they're still calling themselves Israelites and they're still calling still calling you you Edomites, Edomites. So, so, so I mean, it, Esau sees it, as, sees it as a threat because it's unraveling all, all the deception. Opening that Pandora's box. Yeah, yeah, bringing out, bringing out the truth that has been hidden for so long. This is Sirach 10 and 6. It says, bear not hatred to thy neighbor for every wrong, and do nothing at all by injurious practices. Pride is hateful before the Most High, and man, and by both doth one commit iniquity. Because of unrighteous dealings, injuries, and riches got by deceit, the kingdom is translated from one people to another. Yet for all the unrighteous dealings that you've had, man. Because everything you've obtained, you've obtained it through violence. Look, look how he obtained uh, the soils of America. Violence. He sprayed disease. robbed people. And then he built it up. Off of uh, Judah's back. His and Christ's back. The tribes. Because all the tribes that have had to build this place up. Okay. Then he stole all the gold. All the riches. And, hey. Scripture do say he shall keep it up silver and gold, but the righteous shall put it on. So yeah, how is Shai going to take all that gold? We going we going refine it, do what we do with it, and, and make things with it, man. We going to build up uh, the kingdom of heaven. We're not going to build it up. Uh, our our labor. We just going to think these think the thoughts how we want it, and we going to command the heathen to build it up. Okay, with all the resources, Lucky, that that you stole. All the precious stones, okay, all the silver and the gold, that's all going to be put to good use in our kingdom. It tells you in uh, uh, Revelation, uh, I believe, 21, that our streets are going to be paved with gold now. Our, our, our castles are going to have gemstones. We're going to know how to actually use these stones to where they're going to light up, like how Esau's neon lights. We're going to be able to do that with the crystals. We're going to be able to use those crystals as like weapons. This is Proverbs chapter 6, uh, verse 16. These six things know Yahweh hate. Yeah, and seven are an abomination unto him. A proud look, a wide tongue, and hands that shed innocent blood. These are things that the Lord hates. And who is the chief of committing these things? Esau, and then two thirds of our people. Okay, go ahead. A heart that divides of wicked imaginations, uh -huh. feet that be swift and run into mischief, a false witness that speaketh lies, and he that sow discord among brothers. That's all Esau, man. Esau. That's Esau to a T. That is described you eat my Straight up. Yep, with your divided conquer. Feet, feet swift to, to do evil. Swift. Anytime there's something, even anytime there's evil, Esau right there. <laughs> He's always at the scene of the crime. He's always at the scene of the crime, pointing his finger at Jake. Pointing his red He's like, finger. black guy. <laughs> I saw him do it. And this is true, man. Going back to the bait card thing, they got a they got a show now. You can watch. It's called Live PD. 
and it's like supposedly live. Yeah. I don't I don't believe it's live, but it's called Live PD. Where it's like a new age era of cops. They were arresting this Jake. And they were like, you know this is, where'd you get this car? You know it's stolen, right? But these devils put it there for it to be stolen. It's like somebody leaves a thousand dollars. Nobody's around. And you go pick it up. Then they come out of nowhere and jump out the bushes. Get on the ground. Yeah. That's wicked, man. That's, uh, uh, that's a wicked device. Thief. <laughs> Scripture says the accuser of our brethren, man. He does these things and then he accuses you. You know? I mean, man, it's, it's, it's ridiculous. That's that, and that, and that is true. I get that scripture. The revelation. That is a good reason why you, you don't you don't steal, man. You don't do these things. That, that's a law. Okay. But this guy, he 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 lays snares. He sets traps. You saw will uh he'll steal a bunch of shit and then plan it on you. Yeah. Say you did it. You know, he saw commit a crime and, and frame you. Or he'll steal a whole bunch of stuff and then resell it. You think all the cartels, all the big drug king bins, he saw me going in there, strong arming them, taking their stuff, then bringing it back. And what do you, what do you think he does? He just burns it? No, man. <laughs> Snorting it, sharing it with his comrades. He's the, this devil will, uh, this devil will uh, arrest you for being drunk in public, and then his ass will be driving around at 100 miles an hour on the freeway, drunk as hell. Yeah, there's many accounts where uh, cops, judges, there was a judge in Merced. Uh, his son was uh, had a DUI, killed somebody. And they only gave him like, I don't even think they gave him a year, huh? I'll forget the outcome of it, uh, I'll just remember that story. Yeah, and pretty much he got off with killing somebody, okay? But that's, that's these devils for you. Hey, they, 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 uh... What's that? You don't mind. You don't mind. You don't mind. You don't mind. Show these beautiful dance party like that. Look at that bitch that was driving around with his sister, with his friend, and he was talking. He was driving in uh, Los Betos, and he flipped over, and she was recording everything and shit. No, she got time, bro. She only got, she only did like two years. That's still time. Hey, but did she kill anybody? She killed herself. Yeah. In the car? In the car? She died in the car? She was just recently interviewed, going back to jail. Oh, the police chase. That's crazy. <laughs> the Jake or what? Yeah, Jake. Yeah. Stupid bitch. People like that deserve justice. Yeah. I yeah. think they were recording on Snapchat or something. Stupid. Jake is a fucking bitch. Well, he's good guy. This is a Everybody's trying to like, maybe she was just on it, Maybe it's going to be like you're going to establish a fabric. Oh, you have to look up the etymology of fame. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because Lord said he's going to be less fame. In the all lands where we were put to shame. You know? But the fame that these people want, hey. Really, we want the Lord. We're here to glorify you, how by Shimei El Shai. You know, at the end of the day, he's going to get all the glory, all the fame. But yeah, El Shai are so, uh, they're so loving, you know, that they're, they're going to share the spoil. Well, we're going to be famous, but uh, we're adding believers to him. Yeah. They're not, they're not believers in us. If you... Right, like Paul said, did I, did Paul, did Paul crucify you? Were you, were you baptized in the name of Paul? Yeah. So really it's about following you how about you now shot, but you don't have men that are going to tell you how to accomplish it, how to do it. You're going to have fellow worshipers of the Lord that are going to teach you how to worship the Lord.
And look, that's what you saw does. He lies in wait looking, looking for people to mess with. So-called Jew comes in, fuck cousins, 
about that dude that went into the bed section. <laughs> Just started shooting <laughs> shit. Yeah, yeah. Fuck out, man. Going, yeah, going to Casey Kenny's. This is wicked. This is unlawful. And, they, and it was on TV too. I don't know if it was on TV. YouTube for sure. Yeah, he was a Walmart. <laughs> we were the boy the holy one. He be doing some weirdo shit too. I don't even. I just know that. I never even looked at his camera. He be like carrying big ass chain leaks, like he's in the shackles and throws him down, and then he does his little ritual shit. I just see he be uh, he be subscribing and unsubscribing, <laughs> and subscribing and then, You know, he just keep on subscribing. Like, are you? You want me to acknowledge you? You want me to send you a shalom? What do you want, man? Yeah, you don't do this for me anymore. That's why. Like, you know, you don't do it for me anymore because you have the guys that want to be single men. And it's like, bro, just do the work. The Lord's going to give you that recognition, right? In the kingdom. You know, you shoot for that. You don't want, you don't want that here. People to know you and all this stuff. And it's a big ass world. Yeah, it's more. Uh, the more known you are, the more people want to shoot you. The more, the more known you are, the more attainable you are. You know? You guys, then you're going to have, then you're going to have all uh, uh, messages on your phone and your emails sending you death threats and hate mail and shit. Yeah. Call, call in, yeah, call, call in your job, going to your, going go to your parents' house, doing all types of, because all you got to do is search search a name. They find somebody finds out your name, it's over. Yeah. You can look up your phone number, your address, everything. Everything. Where you where the all the all the houses that you've lived in for the past five years. Where you work. Everything. Your email, your phone number, all your family's addresses, your phone number, everybody that's connected. Connected. Matthew chapter 24 verse 14 This gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for witness unto all nations. For witness unto all nations. Okay. And, you know, the Lord, the Lord has to get his glory in all the land. Okay. Everybody needs to know what's about to come before the Lord does it. So that when it does happen, everybody's going to be like, oh man, it was their God they were talking about. And you know how spookified they're going to become. And what we're seeing the whole time is true. They're going to bug out. They're going to bug out the nation and start shooting these messages, man. You're going to see the chariots? They're really going to be terrified. It says they shall be amazed at the strangeness of salvation. Seeing Jake get beamed up, his body changing before their eyes. That's going to be, that's going to be an amazing thing. But people are going to bug out off of that. Imagine you getting beamed up in a chariot, your whole body is transforming while you're getting beamed up. Everything is what the, no. And that's, that's what actually, that's what's actually going to happen. Yeah. That's the crazy, that's the crazy thing about it. Uh, you know, this, this is the truth. These things are going to take place. You know, what do you like about it? It's going to happen. And then shall the end come. And then shall the end come. Which the end has been declared from the beginning. We're speaking of the end right now. It's going to be the beginning for the event. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's, the end, it's the end of this world and the beginning of uh, uh, the, world. Yeah. the world, the beginning of Israel's world. This is uh, 2 Ezra 6 and 8. And he said unto me, from Abraham unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau were born of him, Jacob's hand held first the heel of Esau, for Esau is the end of the world. Hey, we're, that's how, hey, don't, don't many people believe that this is the latter days, that this is the, we're at the end, the end times? So, if, hey, if you're a Christian, if you're an Edomite and you're a Christian, 
or if you're a day or if anybody, if you're a Christian, and you believe that these are the end times, then you gotta you gotta know that he's all good. He's not a damn Arab. I don't I don't see the Arabs uh, given a great sword. I didn't I didn't see the I didn't see the, the Arabs created a nuclear weapon. Last I checked it was it was a so called
Isaiah chapter 24 verse 4, the earth borders is faded to away, the world negative, negative is faded to away, but all the people of the earth do labor. The earth also is the power of the inhabitants thereof because they have because they have transgressed the laws, changed the ordinance, broken the everlasting covenant. Yep. Therefore have the curse devoured the earth, and they that dwell therein are desolate. Therefore the inhabitants of the earth are burned and keep their left. Because yeah, all this wickedness is pretty much going to wait to judge you. If anybody came into your house and you had like a project built, and you came in and just messed up your project saying he was trying to make it better, you're going to be bad at that guy. Same thing with Esau. When your Howard returns, he's going to look at the earth that he made and be like, what the hell is this? Everybody's died and not and whatnot. Everybody's all uh, strung out. So he's going to destroy it. Yeah, change the laws. And change the laws and orders. He tried to make something that was already perfect. And he tried to perfect it like if it could perfect it. Look, look, at what, uh, look at what Charlie Charlie, Charlie Murphy and Eddie Murphy did to Rick James. He was, he was stomping all that, all that mud all over the couch. He said, well, he said, we, 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 we beat the hell out of his leg. This is, uh... This is Daniel chapter 7 in verse 19. It says, Then I would know the truth of the fourth beast, which was, which was diverse from all the others, exceeding dreadful, whose teeth were of iron, and his nails of brass, which devoured, break in pieces, and stamped the residue with his feet. And of the ten horns that were in his head, and of the other which came up, and before whom three fell, even of that horn that had eyes and a mouth that spake very great things, whose look was more stout than his fellows. I beheld, and the same horn made war with the saints and prevailed against them. So this guy, yes, this guy, this guy, uh, Esau and his beast, his power structure, is in the world today stomping countries out, literally destroying everything in sight. If, if you don't bow down to Esau's uh, way of life, his system, he'll send troops in there, okay? He'll send his, his, his foot soldiers in there and go clobber the place, man. Turn it upside down. Push on the world media a false image of, of terrorism when he's the terrorist. When he's the one going around causing harm to others. Yeah, because they said that the, that the fourth beast was exceeding dreadful and terrible. And terrible. What's, a, what's synonymous with terrible? Terror. Okay, he's the terrorist, man. Okay? Going around doing these things. It says, it says his teeth were uh, like iron, which that's his military, man. They're strong. Iron, iron is, is, is one of the strongest metals. If you purify it with, with coal, take all the impurities out, it becomes steel, which is like rated nine plus on the moss scale. Okay, the only thing that's harder, they say, is a diamond. But you can still break a diamond with an with iron or steel hammer. You can shatter it. It's just diamonds can't be scratched. They can still be broken. But get some. Revelation 13 and 15, and he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. So if you ain't down with the smoke, just like he does these other creatures. Okay, you think what went on in Iraq was about, was about WMDs? No, man. Okay, it was about resources. It was about control. Okay, it was about taking people so that he can use them in his war. That's what the old made the old Roman Empire great. Okay, they told people that they conquered. We don't want resources. We don't want money. 
We want your children so that they can fight in our wars. And you look at America, the reason why it's so great when it comes to military action, it heaped unto itself all nations, man. Okay? Just like uh, ancient Babylon with the Tower of Babel. This is Babylon, man. If you can't see that, man, you're wasting your time, man. Okay? You need to pray, man. All right? Because we can clearly see, we, we, we link up history with the scriptures and see it all, man. Clear as crystal, man. This is that same spirit coming back. And Esau be getting all these nations to fight in these wars. That's the reason why around here you see a lot of the uh, Assyrians. Okay? Because they, they grabbed them when Iraq and Iran were fighting. They went in there and played the little fucking hero that Esau always portrayed himself to be. He goes and uh, spreads that uh, that doctrine throughout the land, and that's how you that's how Esau gets a uh, gets a, uh, a government overthrow to take place because he fills he fills the people's heads with the uh, you know ideas of democracy and uh, feminism. And, Know, homosexual rights and all these different things and then the people get enticed by that and they, they uh, fight against their own government yeah. and then the, the, the ones of the, the, the ones of them that are zealous for their for their uh, for their uh, their ways for their beliefs they form a form a, a, a force to, to come a resistance to fight against the ones that are rebelling and then Esau comes in and labels the, the terrorist freedom fighters and the freedom fighters terrorists. Yeah. He goes and he, he makes it he makes it backwards. So he'll so the ones that are rebelling against the order of that country, you know, Esau will support them and use propaganda to make them seem like they're heroes. And like the ones that are trying to fight for their tradition as the killers. You know? This is um so he could justify himself from going in there and destroying Exactly. He said, hey, look, these, these people are fighting for, uh, uh, for, for freedom. You know, we need to go in there and help them against these, these, uh, these evil, wicked terrorists that are oppressing But really, it's Esau that's the oppressor. Right? Oppressing, oppressing people in their own territory. Yep. Yep. Did that to Jake. Now look at you dumb heathens. You followed this devil into uh, uh, doing this, doing this to Jake. Now he saw us doing it to you. We're back in verse 20, Daniel 7 and 20. It's lucky 21. Well, that's why the Lord's going to stir up all these nations against Esau. Yep. They thought that they were uh, at peace. With they thought they were at peace, with, but uh, when you read. You you know the scripture, Psalm 55 and 20 tells you that this devil took. He don't keep he don't keep no contract. You know, he makes deals and he's a deal, deal breaker. He's a uh, covenant breaker, you know, which the Lord hates uh, uh, truth breaker. You know, he's all about his word, man. So like if you you know you say you're gonna do something, the Lord expects you to do it. This is uh, Isaiah 14 and verse 4. It says that thou, should, that thou should take up this proverb against the king of Babylon and say... Which is the, the Edomites yep. today. Go ahead. How hath the oppressor seized, the golden city seized? The Lord hath broken the staff of the wicked and the scepter of the rulers. He who smote the people in wrath with a continual stroke. He that... Because yeah, after Esau was done with Jake, he, he turned against the... He turned against... Uh, uh, his his helpers. After Esau got through with Jake, now he's now he's going around to all these uh, heathen nations that he made a league with. You know, the League of Nations, the, uh, the uh, United Nations Security Council. You know, now, he's, now these heathens are now these heathens are uh, other other heathen are being oppressed. These other nations are being oppressed by Esau. 
and he's, he's like I like I said, he's, he's smiting them with a continual stroke. He set up uh, uh, coups in these nations and be like, hey, hey, we need to we need to help these people in the name of freedom and, and democracy and, and you know the power to give people the choice to you know all this other uh, nonsense. That, it sounds it sounds good when you hear it. You know, like, yeah, I can you know I'll get to be free. I don't got all these shit. I don't even do whatever I want. That's enticing to the flesh, but then it's destructive. It's a very destructive mentality because it brings about lawlessness. It brings about disorder and chaos. It says, verse 6 again, He who smote the people in wrath with the continual stroke, he that ruled the nations is anger in anger is persecuted and none hindereth. The earth is at rest and is quiet. They break forth in the singing. Yeah, the fir trees rejoice at thee, and the cedars of Lebanon say. Why? Because the devil's been destroying the earth. Look at the Amazon. The Amazon is on fire, man. It, 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 they, they said like 30% of the Amazon, maybe more, 40% of the Amazon has already been destroyed and completely. Which is which is a damn shame because the Amazon was a was a was a uh, was a what do you call it a, 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 a wonder of the world because it's the biggest rainforest in the world as it's been. They said they only discovered like 13 percent of it, if that. That's a lot of that's a lot of life. It, bro, yeah, being being uh, eradicated. So when this devil put down. The, the trees are going to rejoice. He says, yeah, the fir trees rejoice in and the cedars of Lebanon say, since thou art laid down, no feller is come up against yeah, us. Since, since, since the devil got put down, you know, we don't got, the trees don't got to worry about getting chopped down and grind up and turned into paper and all kind of dumb nonsense. 